God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, I have been gone for a couple weeks. I needed to just kind of take a break and regroup and listen to the new downloads that God has been giving me. Um, I wasn't really going to schedule to come back until next week fully, but I was just sitting here praying and I felt that, I don't know, the Spirit just, the Holy Spirit just was like, yo, like just share it. I feel like it'll help somebody. So you know, if you feel like you are in a space right now in your life and you thought things would be your way and they're completely different. And if you are just saying, God, I'm open, whatever it is you want me to do, wherever it is you want me to be, whoever it is you want me to serve or help, just anything that you want from me, anything that you need from me, I'm open to doing it. If you feel like you've been in that place consistently, but you're also feeling like God is not answering and you are just literally feeling like, you know, I'm stagnant or, you know, in some cases, some of you listening, you're not stagnant. You're actively living and doing things, but life is just literally a big question mark for you. You know, if life is a big question mark for you, I want to encourage you. The first thing I want to tell you is go to my community page. Go and read the post. Go get encouraged just from that. Sometimes when you read something, sometimes just reading something really short and quick could really uplift your spirits. I don't think people, I think because we're so desensitized because all we do is see stuff like that on social media. But I think when you take those things in and it's just general things to really help boost your spirit and you're focused on that part, not the humdrum or you just keep scrolling and moving your fingers and you really focus on what's being said. I really think that it could help tremendously. But that's why I call this the question mark. You know, if you feel like your life is a big question mark, the thing that I would encourage you to sit with is this. We come into this world not knowing anything. You know, shucks, we don't even know how we got here. We don't, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, we know biologically, sure, but you know, we're not, we're not born with like a, a rule book of God's plan for our lives. We figure that out along the way, right? So you have one or two choices you can make. You could either be lost in the fact that there's so many questions and you don't have answers, or you could bask in the notion that if you don't know what's going on, God does. And you can get excited about that. Because let me tell you something, when you do rock with God and that is your compass, you will always land where you belong. Mind you, I said, when God is your compass, not your own understanding, not your thoughts, not your anxiety, not your fears, not other people's opinions. Focus on that. Focus on the fact that if you do not have the answer, God does. And if your frustration is, well, Robin, duh, the problem is I don't know the answer. Maybe you're not supposed to. Maybe if you did get the answer you were looking for, it might just be something to throw you off your path. Oftentimes, we don't think of that. We just get frustrated because we don't get what we want and God is not doing this and that. But we always have to stay in a place of humility. A lot of times, we have to come to this impasse in our situations and in our lives because God is just trying to speak to us clearly and loudly. And I can say this to you. You might have unanswered questions in some areas, but I could tell you one thing. There are answers that have come to you and you know God sent it to you. is without a doubt. You know, and what, what I want you to be careful of in this season is do not, do not strike God's anointed ones. That's a dangerous game because I don't think people understand that when God allows people to come into your life and be a representation of him or to just sometimes God will just speak through other people for us, y'all. Sometimes you might be the person speaking or someone might be speaking to you. That is not something to take lightly because everybody's not walking around with access like that or they don't even realize that they have it. And I think sometimes God just loves us so much. He tries to give us a lifeline, you know, and when we don't have those questions and we have, we, 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 I mean, excuse me, we don't have those answers and we're seeking these, uh, these, 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 these mind blowing results and we want to see this and that, you know, it can be tough sometimes. So I want to encourage you. 
to know that, yes, I know you're looking for the answer, but God has it. And I can tell you something. If you were supposed to have the answer, my friend, you would. If you don't have it, do what we know works. It doesn't make any sense to keep getting frustrated. Some of y'all listen to me. You are so angry and aggravated because you don't have the answers. You can't fix it or you don't know what's going on and this and that. Yo, that's probably not something you need to be concerned with Concerned with right now. Maybe your focus should be on praising God, praising God. Or maybe it should be on focusing on things of God that can help you get to the thing that you're supposed to have. Because you want to know something? In this season right here, it is so important to make sure... You know what you believe and where you stand. Because the kind of things that's coming down the pipeline, if you wishy-washy, if you all over the place, you into this, you into that, that might not necessarily benefit you too well. This is a time where you should be understanding and standing on your foundation. And if you are one of the lucky ones who just got your foundation all busted up and you don't know where to start, the reason why I said you a lucky one is because God has given you a fresh start. Okay? See, to man, to the world, you might be in a devastating place. But to God, when you're broken, you are in the perfect place. Because that's when he can do his best work. The point is not to go to God when you are all spiffy and you got it all together. The point is to go to God when you are a mess. And you look at your life, you're like, oh my God, what have I done? Or what am I doing? Where am I going? What's next? This is the perfect time to go to God. So... I'm wrapping this thing up. This was a short, quick word. I was led to do this. I'm not really coming back full steam ahead. Full sp- Is it full steam or full speed, y'all? I don't know. I need to look that up. But I think they both work, right? But I'm going to come back next week. Don't forget, Patreon is, is building, is loading. I know I told y'all like three weeks ago it was going to be ready, but life is happening. I'm trying not to kick myself when I don't make certain deadlines because life just be lifing. And I'm just going to go ahead, do a nice little woosah, and keep it moving. I'm not, I'm not on, I'm not on anybody else's clock for anything. I'm just doing what God is telling me to do. And that's what I encourage you to do too. I encourage you not to be under the chains of people and to be connected to God so that you can move effortlessly and you can flow in such a way that's pure for you. And you can do the things that God is calling you to do. And it's not based or inspired by, based on or inspired by what other people think it should be. So yes, rejoice if you don't have the answer. Yes, rejoice, praise God, be still, and no, chill, be quiet. If you're not quiet listening to him, be praising him with your mouth. That's what you should be doing. If you're talking, it's because you're praising. If, you, if, it's, if you're quiet, it's because you're listening. This ain't third party time. You need to let God give you downloads because some of y'all are going to get such specific instructions on what to do with people, such specific instructions on where to go, such specific instructions on what to build and create that you cannot do anything but deviate from what God is telling you. And again, for many of you, God may tell you to do something and just because he tells you to do something or it drops in your spirit, it doesn't mean it's going to work out the way that you think. That's something that I have had to learn many times in my life. He will give me a directive and I'm so embarrassed and ashamed and it blows up in my face, but fret not. He has you doing those things for a reason. Okay, so please be encouraged. I felt led to say this. I hope it blessed somebody. Please make sure you like, you share, subscribe, you turn on notifications. And please make sure if it's somebody in your life that can uh, appreciate this message and you think it may speak to where they are right now, please share it with them. Give it to them because it may not be for you, but please share it with someone else. Oh, 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 make sure you go look at that community page. I want you to get inspired. And I want you to know how dope you are. I don't have to know you to know that. That's not a lie. It's just the truth. It might not be something that I know personally about you, but I know God feels that way about you. And I'm always going to give that message. So God bless y'all. And I will talk to y'all soon. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Oh, God hits.